na ituturo ko sa inyo according sa World Health Organization kung ano yung five moments of hand hygiene. Huwag ka mag-alala. I got you. <music> Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gabe and I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create educational contents to other nursing students to help with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I'll see you. I upload my videos every single day. Don't miss that out. Subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. Yun nga, ngayong araw na to ay pag-uusapan natin or we will discuss about your 5 moments of hand hygiene. Yes, I think that this video is very, not I think, I believe that this video is very timely especially with this all pandemic that is happening right now. This is very timely. Na ituturo ko sa inyo according sa World Health Organization kung ano yung 5 moments of hand hygiene. Huwag ka mag-alala, I got you. Bibigyan kita ng tip kung paano mo siya mas madaling maaalala. I hope that this video will get to all the frontliners out there. Just a constant reminder kung ano nga ba ang mga 5 moments natin ng hand hygiene. And this is important for us to really break the chain of transmission of infection. Diba? Laban. So in order for me to do that, I will switch back to my PC. I will see you in a bit, baby. Hi everybody, welcome back na sa ating uh, formal discussion ng 5 moments of or 5 moments of your hand hygiene. Now on this lecture, we will discuss hand hygiene aligned with uh, WHO guidelines. Now this is very timely because alam nyo naman may pandemya tayo ngayon, COVID-19. So shout out sa lahat ng mga uh, frontliners dyan. Let this video be a, a reminder for everybody, especially to all those healthcare practitioners at sa mga frontliners natin dyan about the five moments of your hand hygiene. So I actually decided to create this video bilang reviewer at sana bilang tulong na rin at paalala para sa ating lahat na, you know, nagte-take care sa ating mga pasyente during this pandemia. Wow! This principle is one of the basic yet most of neglected practice, not just by healthcare providers, but basically pa para sa ating lahat. <coughs> Now, this discussion will My focus God. on when and why nurses should perform hand washing in the healthcare setting. So, kung makikita nyo ito, ito siya, ito yung five moments of your hand hygiene according to WHO o yung ating World Health Organization. Huwag kayo mag-alala kasi himayin natin yan ha. So kalma lang kayo dyan. Next. So ano ba yung WHO? Ito sila. Sila yung organization, yung ating World Health Organization na talaga namang nagpanukala at nagpa-promotor. Promotor talaga, ma'am. Ang nag-establish ng guidelines about five moments of our hand hygiene which is being followed by uh, the healthcare practitioners, healthcare providers all over the world. Go, go, go. Now what is hand hygiene, you guys? Hand hygiene includes either washing hands with soap and water or the use of an alcohol-based waterless hand sanitizers o yung tinatawag natin mga waterless hand rub. So, ano bang purpose ng ating hand washing or hand hygiene? Oh, no. Now, practically, this is to reduce the microorganism on the hands. Also, to maintain skin integrity and to prevent, most importantly, the spread of infection. Parang maputol natin yung chain ng transmission ng mga, um, um, ng, ng mga tag dito, communicable diseases. Now, question. How long you should perform hand washing? Now, according to WHO, you guys, you should... Uh, take at least 20 to 30 seconds to perform hand rub. Again, that is, let me change my cursor here, 20 to 30 seconds, 30 seconds to perform your hand rub. Good luck naman sa penmanship, mga kabagyan. Gets mo na yan, laban. Alright, so next question. 
Sabi, when to wash hand with hand soap. Kasi sabi dun sa early definition, ewan ko kung mababalikan nyo, balikan lang natin to very, very, very quick. ba diba sabi natin, ang hand washing natin is um, either uh, washing of your hands with soap. Sabi dito, soap. Wait lang, nasaan na yun? Uh, ito, washing with soap. Iowa. And water, H2O. Or yung iyong hand sanitizer. O yung tinatawag nating alcohol-based. Alcohol. Ang hirap naman pala nito, ma'am. Alcohol-based. Um, um, waterless hand sanitizer. Waterless. Nako! Ayan. Waterless. Basta yun na yun. There's actually two things. Um, two things or two materials that we can use. It's either we can use soap and water or yung te ating ang alcohol-based water ba uh, waterless hand sanitizer. When to wash hand with soap or with hand soap. What? Nurses and all the healthcare practitioners at pati sa mga estudyante natin dyan, remember that you need to wash your hands with soap and water only if you can visibly see na yung, yung kamay mo is very soiled. Alam mo yun, yung very much nakikita mo na yung dirt at yung mga body fluids. That's the time. Not really body fluids, but if it's really, really soiled. So that is in accordance to the guidelines of WHO. Once again, kailan mo, kailan ka mag hand wash kapag magagamit ng mag-hand wash? Kailan ka gagamit ng soap and water? As advice, if your you can visibly see that your hands are soiled. Deba, kasi hindi nakakayanin niya ng hand rub, ma'am. On the other hand, according to CDC, it is best to use alcohol-based um, hand sanitizer that contains at least, what, 60% alcohol when soap and water is not available. Again, guys, 60% ha, alcohol. May makikita kasi tayo mga sanitizer sa market na meron mga 45% or 50% um, alcohol. Those are actually okay for me, but it won't, it won't really kill like 99% uh, of the bacteria. So, so, ang recommended ng CDC o yung ating Centers for Disease Control is at least 60% of alcohol. Of course, kapag hindi available yung water and yung soap, that's the time that you can use your hand sanitizers. Aww. Now, key points lang mga nurses ha. Gloves are not substitute for hand washing. The use of gloves, nurses, does not eliminate the need for hand hygiene. Again, hindi porkit naka-gloves ka, hindi ka na mag-hand washing. Remember, na regardless kung may gloves ka o wala, you need to practice hand washing. Imperative po yung hand washing natin o yung ating hand hygiene. So, kapag gagamit ka ng gloves, make sure na before you put on your gloves, ay ikaw muna ay mag-hand washing. Okay? Let me add something there. Hand hygiene is necessary before putting on and after taking and other PPE. So, hindi lang gloves. Maaring naka, naka mask ka or gumagamit ka ng uh, hair net or your gowns. You need to wash your hands before and after uh, putting or removing your PPEs. Now, there's actually easy way for us to remember the five steps, um, uh, five moments of hand washing. Di ba nakin na nak um, nakita nyo kanina sa illustration ito? Oh. Medyo nakakaligo ito. Wag kayo mag-alala kasi padadaliin ko yung buhay nyo. Ibe-break down natin sila per time period. Kung mapapansin nyo tong illustration na to, madali lang siyang intindihin guys. Kalma lang. Maaring di mo pa nagigets pero meron tayong, when you talk about five moments of hand washing, you talk about before and after okay so kalma lang kalma lang because i got you baby okay i got you before sabi ko diba dito before may dalawa tayong before to be nandaan mo to be I wanna be a tutubi na walang tinatagong bato ganyan to be to be ibig sabihin dalawang before Okay. So, sabi, dalawang before. Himayin natin yun. Sabi, our first one, you should perform hand washing before touching a patient. When? 
Clean your hands before touching a patient when approaching him or her. The rationale nito to protect the patient against harmful germs carried on your hands. Siyempre bilang isang healthcare provider, you do want to transfer the patients that um the, the the infection or the viruses you have or any microorganisms that you have from one patient to the other. That's a big no no. Second B. Tapos na tayo sa first B, ah. Second B. Before cleaning or doing a septic procedure. When? Clean your hands immediately before performing a clean or a septic procedure. Bakit, mga nurses? This is Bucky. basically to protect the patient against harmful germs, including the patient's own, from entering his or her body. Oh, diba? Do no yeah. harm sa ating mga pasyente. Kaya, mga nurses, huwag matigas ang ulo. To be, to be, to be, to, to be na walang tinatagong bato. Ganyan. So, before touching a patient and before cleaning or doing a septic procedure. Any procedure, uh, you need to wash your hands. Before you touch the patient, you need to touch, uh, touch your hands. Touch your hands. Ano ba, girl? Touch, touch. Ayo talaga to Miguel. Wash your hands. Malino na tayo dun na to be now. Meron naman tayong after. So lima yon. So ilan na lang ano? Ilan na lang moments na hand washing. Tatlo na lang. Di ba ang simple lang? So meron tayo ng three, four, five. Okay. May tatlo tayong after. May dalawa tayong before. May dalawa ta. May tatlo naman tayong after. Okay, so himayin natin to. Sabi, no unang after, after body fluid exposure risk. Guys, na-expose ka sa body fluids, alam natin na maraming mga bloodborne diseases na pwede nating mapasa sa ating pasyente. Oh, no! At kumala to ng, alam mo yung mga nasokomial infection, you don't wanna you don't wanna do that to your patient. What you're gonna do, the best way to actually prevent that from happening, Uh, from happening, hoping, pano hoping, from that? happening is to wash your hands after body fluid exposure. Okay? Next, malino yun ha? Next na tayo, after touching a patient. Nurses, you should clean your hands after touching a patient and her or his immediate surroundings. Pay attention to this surroundings. Kanina, tinawakan mo. So, hindi ka lang pala maguhugas ng kamay after mong hawakan ng pasyente. O, gusto mo yun, hinahawakan ng pasyente. Mm. Ayan, kage. Nagigigil ako sa'yo eh. And, sabi, and, ibig sabihin, at kasama rin to, after touching his or her immediate surroundings oh, no. when leaving the patient's side. Ano yung mga surroundings na to, ma'am? Yung mga makikita mo sa bedside, yung mga gamit ng pasyente mo. Kahit yung tipong swero na chine-check mo sa pasyente mo, anything na may kinalaman na, na makikita mo sa surroundings ng pasyente mo, bed rails, you need to wash your hands after touching that. Why, nurses? To protect yourself. And the healthcare environment from harmful patient germs. Again, again, the most powerful way of breaking the chain of infection is hand washing. Malino ba tayo don? Next after. Last na after na to. After nito tapos na. Charay. Laban na laban na yon. Okay. After. Ang huli ay after touching patient surroundings. Sabi dito when. Clean your hands after touching any object or furniture in the patient's immediate surroundings. Actually, para magkamukha sila nito eh. Pero itong number four is after touching a patient. More or, more or less, kung kanina di ba before touching a patient, ito yung ka-counterpart niya after. Pre and post touching the patient. Gusto mo yung pre and post. I love it. Now, dito tayo. Mabalik tayo sa number five. Clean your hands after touching any object or furniture in the patient's immediate surroundings. When leaving... Even if the patient has not been touched. So kahit hindi mo pa nahawakan yung pasyente mo, ma'am, maghugas ka ng kamay. Next, bakit? Ano ang rasyonale? What is the reason behind? Nurses, listen. To protect yourself and the healthcare environment from harmful patient germs. Okay? Once again, yun yung ating pinakamabilis na lecture sa ating five moments of hand hygiene. If you wanna do a screenshot of this, you might wanna do so. The screen saver mo siya. Ilagay mo siya sa phone mo. Sa mga healthcare o sa mga nag-aaral dyan ng, ng about sa hand hygiene. Guys, guys, screenshot mo to. Magagamit mo to. Just a constant reminder, you guys. Ito, oh. 
Okay, bibigyan kita ng time to screenshot this. Makikita mo yan dyan. Makikita mo dito na ang tiniscuss natin ngayon is um, from World Health Organization um, protocol. Alright? So once again, i-brush up lang natin before touching a patient. Next, before clean, clean or aseptic procedure. Next, after. Doon natin sa after. After body fluid exposure. Pang-apat, after touching a patient. Panglima, after touching a patient surroundings. Okay? Di ba ang easy lang? Again, meron kang... Gusto ko lang matandaan mo. Ulitin ko lang nga para ma-emphasize natin. May 2B at may 3A, triple A, kasi tatlong after. Before, 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 after, 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 after. Before, before, after, after, after. Madbilis lang, di ba? So, all you gotta do is to actually learn this by heart and practice it. Kasi pag pre-nactice mo siya, moms, mas, ma, mas malalo mo siyang ma, marerecall, mas malalong ma-inculcate. Ay, gusto mo ma-inculcate, lover. Okay, so, um, this is basically the end of our discussion for today. Now, if you wanna read some more about what we discussed for today, ang source ko po nito ay ang World Health Organization website. You can type W You, uh, you can just go to their website, just type World Health Organization, or you can visit uh, CDC website for further or for more reference or yung ating centers for disease control. Now, I would just like to give you like a very short quiz. You got quest? Pano yung quest? Very short quiz. Bisaya talaga, girl. A very short quiz. Quiz. Ayaw talaga, man. Girl, kalma. <laughs> Now, I would just like to prepare you guys for the very short quiz that we're going to be doing for today. I'm going to give you like five minutes to answer this five um Uh, five questions. So, nagre-range sila from fill in the blanks, multiple choice, and true or false. Okay? Now, babalikan ko kayo after five minutes. You guys enjoy.
Okay, mga Team Kulto, we are back. Okay, sagutan na natin tong ating mga quiz, ha? Ready ka na, Bea? Ha? Change ko lang cursor ko. Okay, question number one. How long you should take to hand rub? Mm, sinabi ko to kanina, ang gigigilak sa'yo. Sino nakatama dito? Sagot, 20 to 30 seconds. Laburn. Hand rub po, a hand rub. 20 to 30 seconds. Next question. What is the most important part of breaking the disease transmission cycle? Ilang beses ko itong inulit. Ang sagot? Hand hygiene. Guys, bonus question na to. Next question. What is the primary purpose of hand hygiene? Oh, multiple choice. Oh, no. Is it A, to reduce microorganism on the hands? B, to maintain skin integrity? C, to prevent spread of infection? Or D, all of the above? Nako, pag nakita mo to sa board exam, tas mukhang malinig, mukhang tama sila lahat. Huwag ka masyado magpapaniwala dito sa all of the above, ha? Hindi lahat ng all of the above, yun na yun. Pag wala ka ng choice, moms, manalangin ka, tas bilugan mo na yung all of the above. Pero dito, tama ka kasi ang tama nating sagot ay all of the above, you guys. Yes. All of these three are the purposes of or primary purpose of hand hygiene. Diba sinabi ko yan kanina? Oh, next na tayo, next question. True or false? As per CDC, it is best to use alcohol-based hand sanitizers that contains at least, what? 500% alcohol when soap and water is not available. 500%. Good luck naman talaga sa balat mo niyo, Mims. Anong sagot? Obvious na to. False. Kasi nga, ano ang sabi ng CDC? Ano ang recommended nila? Sige nga, kung alam mo, 60%. Ay, ang galing niya. Perfect ka dyan, girl. Uh, you're listening. Fast learner. Gusto mo yung 500? Natawa ako dito sa 500. Diyos ko, kakaloka. Meron mag ganyan. Parang wala naman. <laughs> Okay, last question na tayo. Team Cool to. So, true or false, if you were if you wear gloves, nako mali pa yung grammar ko, ma'am. Sulitin ko nga. To, sorry, ah, madaling araw ko na kasi ito ginagawa, you guys. Wala pa akong tulog, ma'am. So, ginawa ko na lang talaga to ng mabilisan. Pero yan ang tamang spelling niya na. If you wear gloves while caring for a patient, you do not have have to wash your hands. Anong sagot, nurses? Of course, it's false. Oh my God, you guys. You guys are amazing. Sino ang nakalima dito? Ilagay nyo sa baba yung score nyo, ha? Gusto ko malaman. Tapos, kung meron kayo mga gusto nyong tag dito, mga i-discuss natin sa mga susunod nating araw, sa susunod nating nursing um, lectures, mga lectures natin about sa nursing, sabihin nyo, i-comment nyo sa baba, gagawin natin yan, ha? Excited ako sa content na to. Once again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you were able to learn something, ha? Kung may natutunan ka, please, please, pakilike, share, and subscribe ka na sa channel ko. Hit mo na yung notification bell kasi araw-araw po ako nag upload Now, um, sana may natutunan kayo and laban lang sa lahat ng mga frontliners dyan, kumapit lang tayo, matatapos din to. Ito, get better. Laban All right. Laban I'll see you. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Help me grow my channel. Hashtag Team Kulto. Give this video a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gabby. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.